Welcome everyone. The day is April the 8th. My name's Hunter and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's word. We let his word take its time on us. In fact, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we are in the book of 2 Samuel. David's son Absalom and Ammon didn't get along very well, and eventually Absalom let his dislike of his brother get out of control. And let's take a look at what a mess Absalom made because of his anger and his hate. In 2 Samuel 13. Two years later, Absalom's sheep were being sheared at Baal Hazor near Ephraim. Absalom invited all the king's sons to come to a feast. He went to the king and said, My sheep shears are now at work with the king and his servants. Please come to celebrate the occasion with me. The king replied, No, my son. If we all came, we would be too much of a burden for you. Absalom pressed him, but the king would not come, though he gave Absalom his blessing. Well, then Absalom said, If you can't come, how about sending my brother Amnon with us? Why Amnon? the king asked. But Absalom kept on pressing the king until finally he agreed to let all his sons attend, including Amnon. So Absalom prepared a feast fit for a king. Absalom told his men, Wait until Amnon gets drunk. Then at my signal, kill him. Don't be afraid. I am the one who's given the command. Take courage and do it. So at Absalom's signal, they murdered Amnon. Then the other sons of the king jumped on their mules and fled. As they were on their way back to Jerusalem, this report reached David. Absalom has killed all the king's sons. Not one is left alive. The king got up, tore his robes, threw himself on the ground. His advisors tore their clothes in horror and sorrow. But just then, Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemaiah, arrived and said, Don't believe all that the king's sons have been killed. It was only Amnon. Absalom has been plotting this ever since Amnon raped his sister Tamar. No, my lord, your sons aren't all dead. It was only Amnon. Meanwhile, Absalom escaped. Then the watchman on the Jerusalem wall saw a great crowd coming toward the city from the west. He ran to tell the king, I saw a crowd of people coming from the Heronium Road, along the side of the hill. Look, Jonadab told the king, There they are now. The king's sons are coming, just as I said. They soon arrived, weeping and sobbing, and the king and all his servants wept bitterly with them, and David mourned many days for his son Amnon. Absalom fled to his grandfather, Talmai, son of Amahud, the king of Geshur. He stayed there in Geshur for three years. Oh, this story is so sad. Absalom was taking revenge for the terrible thing that happened to his sister, and as horrible and evil as that was, one evil thing shouldn't lead us to do more evil. In the end, evil will just continue to abound. But Jesus is a far better king, and he shows us a far better way. He doesn't satisfy his anger or his justice by trying to bring revenge upon people that have harmed him. Jesus has come to put an end to evil itself. And that, my friend, is really good news. Well, hey, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same. And parents, if you would like to partner with the Daily Radio Bible to make sure that this ministry continues to reach kids from all around the world, You can do that by heading to the donate page at dailyradiobible.com. Well, until tomorrow, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.